let's see what is a data warehouse data warehouse end of the day is nothing but a relational database like your sql server oracle teradata netiza db2 any of these databases right it is a relational database that is specifically designed for query and analysis rather than transaction processing now that's where we see the difference between oltp and olap which is online transaction processing and online analytical processing you have separate chapters on oltp and olap the features benefits advantages disadvantages on both sides and also the differences where you'll clearly understand what is the difference so for now it is nothing but a database which has been specifically created for query and analysis rather than transaction processing just for you to know what transaction processing is transaction processing is nothing but you have the daily business transactions stored in a particular database right a simple and easy to understand example is nothing but your retail store if you take walmart as an example whatever purchases any customer does is nothing but a transaction so on a particular day a walmart store can have let's say 100000 transactions from 8 am in the morning till 11 pm in the night right so what is the reason or what are the benefits for maintaining a data warehouse it will contain historical records going back to the previous example whenever i say it is transactional now whatever data or sales which walmart has made from morning 8 am to 11 pm in the night that data is only kept for that day meaning if today is the day which i took the example as whatever transactions have happened today i'll have them in the database only for today tomorrow when i start again at 8 am my database is clean fresh and i'll start with record number one right day after tomorrow again the same thing i'll start with record number one so what will happen to the previous records those will be already moved from your transactional database to your analytical process to your analytical database which is nothing but your data warehouse right so how many days will you keep it there depending on your business requirements or depending on the regulations from government depending on the strategy which you follow to use data for your future needs right so as we move the daily data into the centralized database which is nothing but data warehouse we maintain the history of those records right you have every day's transactions for last 10 years which is nothing but your historical data right and what would you do with that historical data you analyze the data to gain better understanding of the trends of transactions which are happening like what is the age group between 20 years to 30 years are mainly buying what is the teenage group buying are they buying iron man toys or are they buying captain america toys so things like that so based on the analysis based on the data which you store historically you do the analysis and you come up with a structure you come up with a business plan for you to keep the goods or items in the store which are selling the best and get and get profits out of it right now what are the other components which are involved for building a data warehouse obviously you have etl solutions the statistical analysis reporting you also should have the data mining capabilities client analysis tools and any other in-house applications let's talk about each one of them specifically why do you need etl solutions now for your data warehouse you might have different kinds of sources right flat files database xml web services applications anything your pre-built etl tools will have connectors to read any kind of data from these kind of source systems right statistical analysis reporting data mining capabilities client analysis tools can all be considered for your data visualization data mining which is nothing but drilling down into your data to find the lowest granular level possible 
for your business questions and your regular reports like what is the profit what is the loss what happened to a particular product promotion how much have you spent on a particular product promotion what is the benefit which you've got within that benefit what is the focus area what is the age group of the customers who have bought it what is the age group of the customers to which it has been focused to is it the same age group which has bought it things like that in-house applications can be anything as simple as an excel or a word document or an ms access db or something which you have specifically built within your enterprise to do some data analysis right 